very different. All right, so here we are. It's stage one. Here we've got the big man, Ted himself, just signed on, absolutely buzzing for the first race at the CAF with the boys. Very enjoyable. Um, yeah, legs feel okay. Um, I guess we'll find out. Last time, first 13 minutes was 56k an hour, so it could be a tough get round for the big man. But yeah, buzzing for the old, the first stage, the first UCI race, just need to make sure don't stack it and all should be good. Right, so I thought I'd make a video. I haven't really done much content after the first stage. So first stage was very flat to begin with. A couple climbs, three, four minutes. Did get off the front for 300, 400 meters, which was funny, but basically it was like crosswind, headwind, it was just fine. Then up this climb, which again wasn't wasn't too bad. Terrible descent. I got gaps on the descent because I don't want to die hitting potholes. One of our teammates hopped in the break, which was mint, almost got brought back, but he stayed away for third. I started cramping maybe 40k to go, which was not good. I was like, we well, could be in big trouble here. But to be fair, I managed to sort of ride through it. Um, which was good and then last climb I just was like the wheel two wheels behind where the split was and then I just knew I didn't have the legs to to do anything so it's like what's the point like do you know what I mean You're not, like literally what is the point so just parked up with some Conti boys um, and cruised home so finished 45th on the stage which is chill I think I'm a minute 45 back on the main bunch and three minutes off the lead um, which is all fine um, yeah, got some bottles today, which is the first time getting bottles in a UCI race. Well, get, getting bottles ever, because normally you just get them from the side of the road. Um, so that was interesting. Um, getting through the team convoy and stuff. So yeah, just, you know, learning things like that. Um, but yeah, it was good. Um, hopefully, I think tomorrow is quite an easy stage. And it makes sense for me or another guy who lost a little bit of time uh, to try and get in a break, just so we don't have to chase if anything goes. So yeah, that's the plan. Big licks in the break. Um and hopefully I'll be able to deliver a result if it stays away. If not, just, you know, uh, should be fine. And then the, the stage after that is the big hilly stage where I'll just do what I can for everyone else. Um, we've got two, one guy in the top 10, uh, two guys in the top 10 GC, um, four in the top 20 GC. So it's looking good. Um, so, yeah, really happy with how it's gone. Um, had a big feed tonight. I'm um, going to have some more rice now. And then, um, yeah, see how tomorrow's stage goes. <laughs> Day two, and we're at the calf yet again, obviously. So just descending from the place we stayed, which was a ski resort, which was pretty nice. Legs feel okay. It was like 30k downhill, so pretty cruisy. Um, that's the big man, Eugene, who got third yesterday. Just going to go sign on now, I reckon. And uh, yeah. Stage two is done, uh, which is good. It was pretty hard, to be honest, because I went nuclear at the beginning. Basically, the plan was get me in a break. I did like 380 was for the first three minutes, which was quite hard. Um, and then, yeah, just got in the breaks with a lot of different people. Um, some Conti boy and Serbian lad, I thought we had it. We were like 15 seconds, but basically the issue is we've got, my team's got four people in the top 20. So I think they basically just didn't want us in the break, which is fine. I sort of did, I kept on going in moves for a bit and then everyone was like, no, nah, no point going in moves because it's just not gonna happen. She's a bit annoying. Then we literally noodled like literally 120 watts. It was unreal. Then went up a climb, which was quite hard because I started at the back, so I was a donkey. And then got spat because basically, well, I didn't have great legs, but also I just kept on being gaps and it was just like, well, I have to ride harder than the person on the front to close the gap, which I couldn't do. And also it was such like in the middle of the stage, I was like, oh, I'll just come back together. So I just sort of sat up, waited for the big boys. The big boys tanked it on the downhill, got back on, and then it went nuclear. It was just like a long sort of rolling flat, up, down, left, right, bit of wind. And it was just like in the gutter, just drilling it. And it was like, it was probably was only at like five to 10 minutes. It felt like, four hours, um, which was not pleasant. But then it all came back together. Um, two guys from my team got in the break, which was sweet, one of them punctured. And then some Slovenian boys in the break decided it was a good idea not to work. So they got caught at 5K to go, um, which was annoying. Um, but basically like the last 25K was on a motorway and it just was super quick, super, super quick, like 50K an hour the whole time, like in my 11 basically the whole time. 
Um, but then unfortunately the guy who's highest on GC at the moment crashed. We crashed twice that day actually. Um, so me and another guy who were a bit down on GC basically helped helped him out. Um, so we went back and then paced him across. I was pretty bad, so couldn't do too much. I did like two turns, but one was a big, big 600 watts to get him across. But anyway, he got back on, so it's all chill. So he's in GC, so we got like three guys maybe in the top 10-ish or around that. Um, so yeah, pretty good. I lost a bit more time today, like a minute maybe, because once I'd done my turn, I was like trying to get back on, but like basically it was too technical and they were going rapid, so I couldn't really draft the car as much. But anyway, good day out. Oh yeah, halfway through my race, I realized my cook lease wasn't done up, so I stopped at the side of the road, which was very, very sad. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's the big mountain stage. I mean, I think I'm just gonna get spat on the main climb, but we're gonna have a discussion tonight, figure out what the tactics are, but probably does involve me trying to get in a break, which probably won't be allowed, and then me getting spat on the first, on the big climb, and then just cruising home with the Gruppetto. <laughs> Right, so we're stage two evening. The restaurant has, at the hotel has failed us. So we're off in Chachak for the, for the search for some pizza. And it should be good. I'm feeling less bad than yesterday, which is enjoyable. Sorry. So yeah, I was, had a massive pizza. It was like huge. I think maybe a 40 centimeter pizza. Sorry, the lighting's a bit bad. Um, and then, yeah, basically was just like ready for a big day uh, in stage three with the big climb. Uh, yeah, tactical was basically getting me in the break, as I previously said. Uh, and you'll find out soon when I next edit the next vlog uh, as to how it went. And people asking me like questions about it, it's actually already happened. I'm just very lazy on editing it. If you wanna see the results and all the rest of it, it's on Pro Cycling Stats. Um, and yeah, anyway, I'm gonna have some power analysis of it as well. I put some in the vlog today, but we'll, we'll go more in depth and see why uh, the big man didn't have the great results that maybe he thought he would. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this one. Should have my final one uh, out soon.